It is a very big day. It's a moving day. There's no one that could be at this location and not be moved just to see the cross and the Star of David all out in white, the cliffs here. But the speeches today were tremendous. I hope, I hope you're able to play it for the viewers. But I'll tell you a very special moment. Right before the program began, I walked into this tent and I found seven individuals who were here on D-Day, these veterans. They mm -hmm. were in their wheelchairs and they were looking out into the ocean and one turns to me and says, I have not been back here in 75 years. Wow. Wow. And when the, when the president talked about these individuals with three purple hearts, four purple hearts, it broke their back. They were an hour on the beach that day. And you see where the ulterior, ulterior was for the Germans and the, they had the advantage of being up above. It's unbelievable of what the men had done for this world and to save us. Um, and you look at how many gave the ultimate sacrifice. Wow. Right, and in the end, not only would they take out the Germans, establish a foothold and take the, uh, take the continent back in 11 months, uh, but they also took 200,000 German prisoners, and it must have taken a lot of compassion and self-restraint to take a prisoner knowing that that might have been the guy that killed your yeah. buddy. So that is somewhat, that shows the discipline, additional discipline they had back that day, right, Kevin? Exactly. And, and when you listen to these survivors where they'll talk, they'll be coming in in those Higgins boats and there'll only be five people out of 70 who survive and they're there yeah. today. Um, looking at those men and talking to them, amazing yeah. of their support. But I, I, I will tell you, President Macron, he showed his gratitude to America mm -hmm. when he's speaking he in French. But when he went to thank the veterans, he spoke in English. He looked at them and said, we owe you. It, yeah, it was very moving. We appreciate that. Uh, you know, and when you see these, these men that are sitting there that served our country, most of us have grandfathers that served. And my grandfather died. My grandparent, my grand, one grandfather died in the 70s. And he would tell me so many stories. And I'm sitting there thinking, gosh, I wish he were still alive. He'd be sitting there um, with these individuals and he would be their age. And you talk to individuals, there are so many great ones that still fight for our country. And they say they believe in something greater than themselves. But, but I don't know if there would be so many, like our grandfathers, it was the greatest generation, that would do what they did. I mean, they sacrificed so much at 18, 19, 20 years old. How do we get back to that as a country, Congressman? I mean, these are really the values we should look at. Think about the 10,000 individuals that lay here. What would they ask us to do that they didn't sacrifice in vain, that we should actually work together to solve these problems? I was up on stage and I was actually getting the autograph of these men. And yeah. one looks at me and goes, I see you on Fox a lot. And I, I'm not <laughs> going to give you the autograph because I'm proud of you. But when you go back to Congress, I want you to tell both sides to solve our problems. We need to work together to make the world right. go forward and help help the president. That's right. what he told me. Well, Nancy Pelosi is there. Do you, do you think there might be a come to Jesus moment where you guys start working together? Or did the last, you know what, or you we got to go by the last thing she said, which is, I think the president should be in prison. You know, I hope she has a different moment. She sat on one end. We had four ladies who worked uh, building airplanes during World War II, and then me on the other side, along with Republicans and Democrats. And at that moment, we weren't about party. We were about country. And we, I hope we take that back to Washington, not wanting to put somebody in jail, but put Americans first.